I always do one perfect in every video, and there's one, and it's against Devil Jin, one of my most hated characters. So that is marvellous. Hello! Thanks for coming back to the channel. It's time for another Tekken God. And it's Tekken God attempt number six on Tekken 8. And it's a character who I got to Tekken God in Tekken 7. So there's no surprises that I've, I've managed to pick him up again because it's Leo. Now, Leo is, well, they're interesting because they're a Baji Kwan fighter. Um, so, again, similar to Kokoro in Dead or Alive 6. I think I've covered this beforehand. But um, I quite like them. They're, they're, they're kind of juggly in parts, but they're quick. And that's what I quite like about Leo. I've, I've got kind of one combo which I do kind of do over rely on so I mean by the time we're now into kind of Tekken God number six we, we're kind of coming out of what I would naturally call my main characters for characters who I can actually play as so I mean none of these are ever a masterclass ever whatsoever so um, best thing to do well law states I get to Tekken Emperor with a character I've got to go for the gold run so ladies and gentlemen this is the gold run for Leo Kleisen. Ich werde meine Mutter rächen. And as always, we start off with Mr. Cheat because why not? And straight away, my move's gone straight through him and he's gone into bullshit mode. And typical Kazuya always knows what you're going to do. And his most prioritised, even when he's not hitting you and he's nowhere near you, can pull some bullshit off. Ah, oh, I'm so going to do a video on, um, on Machine the Hit Advantage. Because Kazuya is such a cheap character, he really is. Yeah, I knew you were going to do that. And again, he's managed to hit you when it, when you when you're lying prone on the floor, and he can still hit you. That's just Kazuya over and over again. That is a prime example of why I think he's a bullshit character, and you'll never see me go for a god run for Kazuya. I won't play as him because he's just a cheat. I don't subscribe to this nonsense that no one really likes him as a character. Let's be honest. He's just BS. And yes, I know I do farm that particular combo a lot. I mean, that's kind of the other... Oh, fuck's sake. You fall over so slowly, just allowing him to such a fucking full up here. In my Tekken 7 video, which I'll say I'll put up in a corner there, I was, I was very reliant on this forward forward two. That I'm trying not to just kind of use it as a go to so much. But and that's a clutch. <laughs> I hate. I honestly, I know every single video is me hating on Kazia, but well. He gets you the most blooming points though, which is very, very, very annoying. That if you look at kind of the ghosts that score well, they're all the fucking cheap Mishima characters and Hrang. I mean, I don't have the same eye at all as Hrang, because Hrang is a fantastic character. It's just that every man and his dog seems to... That, that stupid uppercut is just bollocks move in the whole game. Grabbed him there. Didn't I? Enough of your priority bullshit, Kazia, for fuck's sake. Fuck off, twat. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm being boring on purpose. Because you're fucking ass. What the hell is that? He hasn't hit me once and he goes straight for the fucking pussy button. I hit through him there. Look how much damage this does. That's one move. And then he's just, he's the toilet again. This is fucking ridiculous. Right, I'm using the pussy button now. And for the record, by the way, I'm just going to quickly show you this. I don't actually have the pussy button mapped, so I actually know how to do it properly, which is, I think, how it should be. I don't think you should be able to map the pussy button. But that's just freaking... He used it first. I'm not going to use it unless they bloody use it. Anyway, I'm bored of fighting this utter knobhead. Let's see who else we can fight. I'm not entirely sure how he ended up over there. Doesn't that take Yoshimitsu's health when he does that? He loves a bit of... Ah, oh, fucking hell. Got you in a corner. And that's one thing I do will say, Leo's got a very good corner punish. Oh, here we go. Here comes the 700 hit combo. Come on, open up. What? There's a lot to be said about computer input rules, isn't there? Flippin' egg. <laughs> I've got a bit close, didn't it? goes into a heat, doesn't it? This one. Well, not many blocks here. What? Oh, fucked. Oh, no, he's missed! And I missed. I missed myself. I'm not doing particularly well in this round. I mean, it probably doesn't help when you're facing an input reading bear, but I mean... I'm just doing that for chip damage because that does so much damage. Just wear him down. I'm not playing particularly well tonight, it has to be said. I am dismayed at my own level of performance here, but we'll pick a better. That's not that's not what I put in. Oh, I can't believe you bounced over me. Flip it, heck. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. That clothesline was over my head. I was lying prone there and he managed to hit me with the clothesline. All right, then. whatever you say. Final 
I'm not necessarily actually because I don't seem to have these advantages when I play as King. And I do play as King quite a bit. I mean that's that's a CPU thing, isn't it? Freaking Dulcim hit detection is definitely a CPU thing. I mean some characters you do kind of get that when you when you play as them yourself. Like an open fact, I mean Jin definitely does. But the computer definitely has advantages, doesn't it? When it uses its ghost. Ah, oh, freaking Mishima hit priority is pissing me off. I try to avoid the kind of Mishima characters because they are just they're, they're not characters I enjoy playing as because of the BS. Which I mention every video. I'm still waiting to be corrected, and he's going into pussy mode. Look. <laughs> I saw that on the screen. He's actually legit got into pussy mode. Oops. I mean, the thing was though, that stupid uppercut move is never going to get fixed. It's it's like a it's like a well-known thing that, that is just bullshit. Well, I had you in the corner, asshole. We'll mix it up a bit because that one. I hate the one super ghost battle. You can't kind of change the. Uh, the um, scenery. Oh, fuck off. It's just look at the things that can hit me versus it's just the simple fact of I went to go hit him and it completely ignored him. I catch him again with this. I can. One of them. And then straight into that. That's the longest continuous string I think I can manage to play over. I always do one perfect in every video, and there's one, and it's against Devil Jin, one of my most hated characters. So that is marvellous. That slide tackle wasn't anywhere near me. Fuck it out. And that's a pretty cool fucking combo. But it, But I've pretty much got to hit the back of their fucking head for it to count. Whereas they can like punch like what five inches in front of me. Fuck's sake. gonna go for that shadow attack. I'm just gonna let your thing drain down. You're gonna you're gonna mince around to over there. I'm gonna let your bar run out and then Hey Could you stop input reading me please? <laughs> Fucking hell Low parry is a prime example of computer input. Sod off. <laughs> Wind out, grab him. Round 
has he changed hit detection? I've never noticed it be that grossly disproportionate. Considering the size of her, she can honestly hit you from a miles away. I don't notice that when I play Shadow. Oops. I should just combo you to death. I don't know how that missed! For that? I need to see that again. That's a VAR mode. Come on. That's ridiculous. There we go. Mask that. First up is old Leroy Dalsim. I mean, if there's one character who can hit you across the screen, it's this dude. Fucking Mr. Fantastic. See what I mean? His sidestep there. I don't know how he managed to like literally end up behind me. That's what I mean about if I double tap sidestep. Look, I just go slightly to the side. I don't know why I paused. Chip you, that should be. Oh, oh, sorry, I thought I was in heat. I was in, I was in rage. I wasn't in heat. That's why I was just trying to get the chip there, but that didn't seem to work. Sit down, shut up. I, I hate the way that the big scoring characters to do this mode are always the cheap ones. You know, we always have to face King Cheap himself. I know we started it against Cheaty Pan. Ugh. Twat bag Cheaty Pants here. doing thank you <laughs> it's a promotion Harada sensei I wish to have your presence I wish to have a sick Tekken God please Fucking hell. Make me fucking 
what, Fred? Foolish. There's one round. Round two. Fight. Ah. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen, I made absolutely massive hard work of that. But we have Tekken God number six. Leo Kleisen has reached the uh, the Holy Lands and we got another gold standard, that's number six, and as with tradition, I always end up looking at the um looking at the uh, play stats just to just kind of punctuate my achievement here as we look here still don't know why it starts with Paul every time they still haven't I mean it's quite cosmetic I just don't understand why you go for a character on zero wins it just bubbles but there we have it Leo Kleisen has reached the promised land we have six Tekken gods now in there and guys i'm just going to leave this here on the screen and say if you have come this far thank you very much for choosing to spend your time with me if you like this video please drop a little like perhaps subscribe to the channel if you're new so why do i keep playing tekken tekken is my mental health tool tekken is saving my life as i always say this i play this because it really really helps me get on an even keel i wrote a little article up on my website uh to kind of explain how i feel about this and the link for that is down in the description here so yeah for any of you guys who are struggling out there you know i hear you you know i i too am an anxiety sufferer and this just is one of those tools i've always used to keep me calm while tekken 7 was and i'm using tekken 8 to do exactly the same thing here but guys don't know what the next tekken god will be i'm quite a way off with the rest of them i've got a bit of work to do before i come back with another tekken god but who knows, I could go on a mad run and it could be someone not even on this top 10 list who uh, is going to make it. But we shall see, well, hopefully the next time I catch you. But until then, thanks again for watching, stay safe and I will see you next time. Take care.